All right, Kim, what are we making? We're gonna try some cheese and steak dip. This is a pound and a half of shaved steak that I went ahead and browned. So this is not hamburger meat, this is shaved steak. Did you shave the steak yourself or was it already shaved? No, it was all, well, it comes in these little long, it's the first time I've cooked it. These long, thin uh -huh. pieces and then you just chop them up and fry it. Mm. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're gonna put us in some um, green, yellow, red, bell pepper, and onions mm -hmm. that I sauteed. Now, are these from Garden Fresh, Walmart Fresh? Walmart Fresh. Okay. So we got those in there. Now we're going to take two cups. You can do uh, whatever. We did Velveeta and cubed it up. You can use American cheese, but I don't, where do you find just a block of American, a block of American cheese? Of American cheese? I thought Velveeta was the cheese of America. Yeah, well, a cheddar would be good, but um, I, I, don't, I couldn't find a block of American. I know. So, but we're gonna go ahead and mix this up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. I feel like this one's gonna be really good, Kim. Yeah, and you can serve it with tortilla chips or get you a... Um, get you a, just a, a tortilla and that, throw it in there. A tortilla or a bread. They uh -huh. say bread would Ooh. go ahead, you know, for it. Now we're gonna take a, cup, a half a cup of whole milk. Mm. That'd help that Velveeta thin up some. One half cup of sour cream. If you don't like sour cream, you don't have to use it. I don't think you'll taste it with it being just a half a cup. Yeah. But some people are adamant that, that they don't like it, they don't want it in there, and mm -hmm. that's fine. Everybody's choice. And one eight ounce can of, not can, bar of softened cream cheese. Mm -hmm. You really just wanna mix that all up, right? Yes, yes, now you're just gonna take this and mix it all together. Your cream cheese being softened, you can just it, it's it kind of like a take on that crock pot sausage dip for football games, yes. stuff like that. This will be a good Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl game dip. Who's in the Super Bowl this year? Is there even a Super Chiefs, Bowl team? Um, my grandson over there just said Chiefs and who? Chiefs and 49ers. Okay. I don't, I don't think that, but I think the Chiefs and Bills played last night, didn't they? I'm they not did. sure. I don't know. I don't and the Chiefs the won. I do know that. Now you're going to put this in the oven at 350 for 20 minutes. Do you need to stir it in between or? No, you can wait till it gets done and then stir it. Okay. So we're going to see how it turns out. All 20 right. minutes. See y'all in 20 minutes. All right, it's been what, 24 minutes or so? Yes, we. And y'all, this is what it's going to look like coming out. I can't say it looks super good, but watch what Kim's gonna do with her magic. What is that instrument we're gonna be using? What Kim's in there in a cheat code over there on the oven. Now, what kind of magic ingredient are we doing? Not ingredient, instrument. Um, cause everybody, everybody loves the, you know, all the tools we got over here. Oh yeah, cause I, I'll pick up whatever tool. Uh huh. I'm just gonna use this kind of whisk. Uh -huh. Just kind of whisk the rest of that cream cheese after it's melted. The Velveeta look mixing that. in. Yes. It's looking. Now, I, I honestly wouldn't recommend eating it right now. Oh, no, it's too much. Unless hard. you want like a six degree burn. Yeah, we're not gonna let you. Now there is grease, but I think that's from them, that- That meat? Steak, yeah. Well, and cheese. You're gonna get oh, grease yes, out of the cheese yes. as well. Just slop it out, just like I did. Just slop it right on out. I got a pan underneath, so that's good. But it looks pretty good, but we'll it let it cool good. a few minutes before we put some tortilla chips or in here or bread. Okay, folks, see you in a few minutes. We all need a taste test. We got Jessica here, too. She's gonna try some. Oh, oh, I had thin you chips. You got a big old piece of... Uh... All right, Jessica, give her our first taste test. See what we got. Oh, that's good. It is? Oh, I like it. It's, it's real steak. It's not like hamburger meat. You can meat. tell. You can tell the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Like that's good. good. I need another one. They said you can get like a baguette bread mm. and dip baguette bread in oh, it. Oh, that'd be good, yeah. Like call it baguette. Real cheesy, too. Ooh, that is good. Almost reminds me of a... Um, I kind of I kind of wish it did have a little spice to it. Yeah, because you, you didn't know? put rotel that. Yeah, there's no spice, but... That's good. What is in sandwiches? A Philly cheesesteak. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Philly cheesesteak. 